बाइंग और रेंटिंग विच इज बेटर एक जमाना आ सकता है जब आप किराया अफोर्ड नहीं कर पाएंगे बिकॉज किराया बढ़ते जाएगा माई रिकमेंडेशन टू एवरी पर्सन इज दैट यू मस्ट बाय योर हाउस इवन इफ इट इज स्मॉल दैट कैपिटल क्रिएशन यू कैन नेवर क्रिएट इन एनी अदर बिजनेस होम विल नेवर बिकम ऑप्सुलेट अ होम इज अ होम इट्स अ नीड सो दिस इंडस्ट्री विल नेवर डाई यू कैन बी रेस्ट अश्योर्ड दैट इफ यू आर इन द फूड बिजनेस If you are in the clothing business or you are in this, and you understand the ropes of that business, you can never lose out. Do you feel that Indian consumers are very price sensitive? Quality is an essential minimum need. In fact, anybody who makes a bad quality building should be hanged. What's the price of this apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Today's episode is with a real estate billionaire, the person who started from scratch. and today is one of the richest real estate billionaires in the country mr niranjan hiranandani jo mumbai mein aaye aur unhone zero se start kiya aur puri life turn around karke apni khud ki sirf aur sirf buildings nahi banayi khud ki societies bana li khud ki ek puri choti cities bana di aur ye sab banane ke beech unka mindset kaise tha aap aur main zero se start karke itne bade vision wale projects ke liye paise kaise leke aa sakte hain इनके लिए क्या करना होता है और उसको फिर इम्प्लीमेंट कैसे कर सकते हैं और इतना बड़ा एम्पायर कैसे बना सकते हैं हमने इसके बारे में बात करी है वी ऑल्सो स्पोकन अबाउट कि उनका विजन क्या है मुंबई को लेके मुंबई के सारे स्लम्स को लेके और अगर धारा भी उनको दे दिया जाए तो वो क्या करेंगे और क्यों वो ऐसा बोलते हैं इन सब चीज़ों पर बात करी है टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ अ बिलियन एयर थिंग्स टू अंडरस्टैंड हाउ टू कैप्चर एवरी अपॉर्चुनिटी एंड हाउ टू गो फ्रॉम जीरो to becoming super successful in your industry if you are interested in any of this then today's episode is really important for you and before you enjoy the show please go subscribe rajshamani clips and rajshamani shorts channel kyunki wahan pe hum bahut sare aise chote chote clips mein cheeze dalte hain jo shayad is bade episode mein aapko dekhne ko na mile to aapko behind the scene unfiltered conversation ka maza bhi wahan pe ek choti si clip mein mil jayega enjoy the show Sir, welcome to figuring out. <laughs> you were the first generation entrepreneur in the real estate business, right? And it's very difficult. It is usually, as I have seen and heard, it is like that all the family wealthy businesses or wealthy business owners, their kids or their grandsons or their granddaughters, they continue to do the business. And real estate is a very family driven because it is very capital intensive, it is very experience intensive, and there are a lot of different kind of pressures jisko tumhe deal karna padta hai if you are in a in a real estate business yeah so how and why real estate in yeah, the beginning it's a long story actually uh when i was young my uh, father doctor uh, ent specialist padma bhushan dhanvantri award winner my elder brother who was 10 years older to me also studying to be a doctor hmm. when i looked up to him i was quite afraid my god they work so hard in their lives I didn't want to work so hard so I wanted to take a little easy so I took up commerce I did my bcom and uh, arts was not my subject maybe I found that easier but it I was not cut out for arts so I took up commerce as a default and uh, but once I entered college there was always the thing to look up to in terms of my father was so iconic I couldn't be a failure in my commerce so I did study in the last uh, year and i stood second in the university of mumbai hmm. but i was always keen on doing business because my father had lots of patients who were very eminent businessmen hmm. the mafatlas the billas the tatas the mahindras all these senior people were my father's patients okay and i always looked up to them i said my god look at them you know iconic people so i wanted to be something like that iconic i did know what what i what it was and what it meant to do the business of business because in our family we hardly ever discussed the issue of business we didn't know the b of business anyway after bcom my father persuaded me to do my ca also i did i was a teacher for a year in the institute of chartered accountants and i started uh, with a textile factory in charkop kandivali mm. and uh, this was done uh, because i also articled uh, two years during my commerce career to work in gwalior yon and century mills mm. and uh, so i thought i will do that and we got into power looms and i started with almost 200 power looms there and we did a little dabbling in real estate 
uh, over a period of time, both the businesses were doing badly. I almost failed in both. I had to sell one business. Didn't know what to sell. This story happened that uh, I got a notice from the union mm. of the uh, uh, of my uh, Palum mm. uh, factory asking for a hundred percent increase in wages. Okay. I said hundred percent increase in wages. कुछ वो जीरो में से गया क्या कुछ एक जीरो ज़्यादा आ गया तो बोले नहीं 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 हमको सौ टका क्योंकि the mills and all that used to charge more and we worked on the arbitra charge of labour cost anyway that persuaded me that I could sell my real estate my factory which was this thing and I got in full fledged into real estate then I realised that now that I have failed and i'm gone into real estate i can't now afford to fail because my father and brother are all professionally doing very well mujhe bhi to successful hona hi hai kuch to karna chahiye so got into real estate with small capital uh, hardly 10 lakhs of rupees uh, less than 10 lakhs of rupees and uh, started very small extension of a building and other things rest is history let's let's elaborate history now <laughs> ओके बिफोर वी एक्चुअली टॉक मोर अबाउट रियल स्टेट एक बात बताओ बहुत क्लासिक यू नो यूट्यूब पे एक डिबेट चलती है ठीक है अबाउट रेंट वर्सेज बाय आई वन ए नोट फ्रॉम यू कि इन मुंबई और इन मेट्रो सिटीज दिस इज अ ट्रेंड नाउ पिकिंग अप स्पेशली अ लॉर्ड ऑफ यूट्यूबर्स और लेट्स ए सी एज ऑनलाइन आर कमिंग एंड बींग क्योंकि अगर तुम मैथ करोगे so rent karna is more beneficial for you in the long run than buying a house because people usually say ki ab bank mein rakhoge paisa to aapko 6 se 7% milega aap khud ka ghar rakhoge jitna bada hoga wo 2 se 3% mein aapko rent mil jayega so what do you think <laughs> buying or renting which is better can i give you a little longer story 100% roti kapda makan hmm roti ke liye कपड़ा के लिए मकान के लिए आपको लाइफ में इंश्योरेंस करने की ज़रूरत पड़ती है क्योंकि हमारे देश में अब तक सोशल सिक्योरिटी नहीं है जो किराए पर लेते हैं एक ज़माना आ सकता है जब आप किराया अफोर्ड नहीं कर पाएंगे बिकॉज किराया बढ़ते जाएगा सिचुएशन चेंज होते जाएगा और आपकी अफोर्डेबिलिटी है आप घर खरीदेंगे तो आज की तारीख में आपको अभी आठ हो गया है लोन का ब्याज Earlier it was six and a half percent. If you bought that house and paid installments, आपको income tax में भी rebate मिल जाता है और आपका घर बन जाता है with the tax benefit that you get. Hmm. So a combination of social security of getting a minimum house is imperative for every Indian to do if he can afford it. Second, yes, rental per there is nothing wrong with rental. There has to be rental. आज मेरे मेरे पास मकान मुंबई में है. मुझे नौकरी बैंगलोर में मिलती है तो मैं वहां जाके किराए पर ही लूंगा ये किराए पर हम दे सकते हैं hmm. लेकिन इट इज माय रिकमेंडेशन दैट एवरी पर्सन इन इंडिया मस्ट ट्राई विद इन हिज कैपेसिटी टू बी अ हाउस टुडे होम लोन्स आर अवेलेबल टू मोस्ट ऑफ द पीपल एट वेरी वेरी इकोनॉमिकल रेट्स एज कंपेयर टू एनी अदर रेट इन द मार्केट प्लेस द होम लोन्स आर अवेलेबल and it is recommended you buy buy a small house buy a studio apartment buy a one bedroom whatever you can afford buy it it doesn't matter so that that social security security is available to you in a lifetime aapka nokri chale jaye nuksan ho jaye kuch bhi ho dekh however not everybody can afford a rental mm. house in a place where you have got work yeah. and there's nothing wrong in rental so world over you have people who buy houses and there are people who rent it दोनों ठीक है लेकिन माय रिकमेंडेशन टू एवरी पर्सन इज दैट यू मस्ट बाय योर हाउस इवन इफ इट इज स्मॉल इवन इफ इट इज इन योर होम प्लेस और वेर एवर इट इज बट ऑलवेज बाय इट दैट कैपिटल क्रिएशन यू कैन नेवर क्रिएट इन एनी अदर बिजनेस सो दैट ओके कैपिटल क्रिएशन पे बात करते हैं ओके सो फर्स्ट इज यू सैड बाय वर्स इज रेंट द डिबेट इज लेट्स इट टेक्निकली नॉट वर्दी इनफ टू डिस्कस क्योंकि the point is not logic the point is security uh, yes like it's not so you must you must get your security after you have your security you rent out doesn't matter you don't even have to stay in the house you stayed i mean you bought you can buy a house in a place and 
रेंट आउट इन सम अदर बी प्लेस बट एटलीस्ट यू हैव अ सिक्योरिटी हाउस कोविड के समय पर कितने लोग जो किराए पर रहते थे सोसाइटीज वर नॉट अलाउिंग अदर रिलेटिव टू कम टू स्टे विथ यू एंड पीपल लाइक दैट so if parents were staying in a house and suddenly there are additional people came societies were objecting so there are a lot of problems as far as this is concerned number 2 jo hua hai which has happened is that people are now wanting bigger and better houses post covid yeah so it's not only the the rent versus buy it is buy and buy a bigger house than what you actually need wo bolte na need need base pehle kya tha mujhe itna hi khareedna hai अभी लोग थोड़ा उनको कैपेसिटी हो तो थोड़ा बड़ा भी खरीदते हैं दैट्स आई थिंक दैट्स ओवरऑल नॉट जस्ट इन रियल स्टेट दैट्स द होल इंडिया सेंटिमेंट नाउ कि हर किसी को अब थोड़ा सा बड़ा चाहिए बिगर लाइफ स्टाइल चाहिए दे वॉन्ट द एस्पिरेशन क्लासेस गेटिंग बिगर ओ द एस्पिरेशन क्लासेज गेटिंग बिगर एवरीवेयर सो इफ यू गो टू द मॉल यू फाइंड दैट पीपल वॉन्ट बिगर एंड बेटर यू गो एंड सी कार्स बींग सोल्ड दे वॉन्ट लिटल बिगर एंड बेटर so in all fields of activity thanks to the growth and uh, gdp growth income levels which have improved and people wanting to spend pehle ek tha ke future mein kya hoga to bachao bachao paise bacha lo ab bachana to hai lekin kharcha bhi karna hai aaj ko bhi hum mauj masti kar le to kuch aaj kharcha karte kuch saving karte to aapne kaise kiya were you this पर्सन की मैं खर्चा कर लेता हूँ आज और वही उद्देश्य की मैं बचा बचा के रखता हूँ और कल बड़ा करूँगा फिर एक दिन खर्चा करूँगा एक साथ ऐसी कोई नहीं है हमारे में तो जब मैं इन बिजनेस इंक्रीज कर रहा था तो मैं बहुत थोड़ा गलत काम भी किया क्या गलत काम कैसे मैं काफ़ी पैसे उस समय हम बैंक पैसे नहीं देते थे तो हम हुडी पर लेते थे मीन्स प्राइवेट मनी लेंडर ओके and those monies were bought taken by me at interest of 2% per month samane mein hui tha so and i no bank was there no banks gave to any builders at yeah. that time when we started so i had done borrowing at that in anything but we repaid all the loans we never defaulted and thank god for that but you were you this this person jo ki mai profits jo kama raha hu har saal main aaj udata hu thodi aur badi gaadi lene mein thoda bada ghar lene mein कि वही दिस पर्सन की लेट मी सेव इट फॉर नेक्स्ट टेन इयर्स ट्वेंटी इयर्स एंड कीप सेविंग इट सो वेन आई वॉज यंग आई ओनली वॉन्टेड टू ग्रो बिग बिग बिगर 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 दैट एस्परेशन इज गॉन आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू बिकम बिगर ओके बट आई वॉन्ट टू बिकम बेटर बहुत फर्क आ गया है पहले तो यही था कि कुछ और कमा लू पैसे ज्यादा बन जाए बड़े प्रोजेक्ट्स बन जाए इससे भी बड़े बनने चाहिए वो एक था राइट यू नो दैट वाज देयर एंड आई वर्क टुवर्ड्स इट एंड आई वर्क वेरी वेरी हार्ड एंड वी डिड सक्सीड थैंक गॉड बट टुडे इफ यू आस्क मी आई एम ऑन अ डिफरेंट रूट कंप्लीटली इट्स ऑलवेज हाउ कैन आई बेटर माय सेल्फ हाउ कैन आई बेटर माय प्रोडक्ट्स हाउ कैन आई बेटर माय रिलेशनशिप विद माय कस्टमर इट्स क्वाइट डिफरेंट मैं बड़ा भी नहीं हूँ मुझे कोई चिंता नहीं है आई डोंट इवन थिंक आई डोंट इवन हैव अ विंक टू थिंक दैट वे द होल परसेप्शन हैज चेंज एंड आई थिंक आई एम अ चेंज पर्सन इन दैट सेंस ऑफ द टर्म कंप्लीटली बट देर वाज अ बिग फायर इन द बेली टुडे देर इज अ फायर इन द बेली बट फॉर डिफरेंट वेज कंप्लीटली डिफरेंट यू नो लाइक आई वांट टू डू थिंग्स बेटर एंड बेटर द सेम थिंग्स डिफरेंट थिंग्स एंड आई एम रियली हैप्पी टू डू दैट So yeah, I have an interesting question. Okay, now that you know so much about your field, about your industry, here, yeah. up next project, your next big thing or the next better thing, up, how do you decide? Because, and I'll tell you why I'm asking this question, right? When you are young and when you are on your field, then you are just observing where you can find opportunity and where you can better yourself, and you are doing that. बट एज यू कीप ग्रोइंग आपके आस पास ना ब्लॉकर्स बहुत बनते जाते हैं बिकॉज द ब्लॉकर कैन बी लेट्स यू आर इन योर ओन वर्ल्ड यू क्रिएटेड ओन वर्ल्ड एंड यू हैव होल डे स्केड्यूल डिजाइन तो ऑब्जर्वेशन का इतना रूम नहीं बचता जितना पहले होता था लाइक यू कॉन्ट बी ऑन द रोड इन जिस थिंकिंग आउट ओ यहाँ से गाड़ी निकल के ऐसा होना चाहिए था राइट यू कॉन्ट डू दैट सो वॉट्स द प्रोसेस टू चूज 
the next better thing or the next big thing for you how do you know what is the process to get those opportunities where you know okay this is the next thing for me you have to keep the ear to the ground you meet the right people you meet people who have more knowledge than you have people who are into the world of uh, consulting those who are in the field of knowing better than you and there are so many of them so i always interact with them always want to know what they are doing and even in the business of business where i'm supposed to be king uh, i'm always learning i'm always improving myself so my construction quality is constantly improving my uh, you know methodology of construction is changing that's uh, an ever growing process it's an ever growing part so there's never going to be something where once you get it once you are habituated to be a learner you will always learn mm. if you have uh, a glass ceiling or you have blinkers you can't see left you can't see right you can't see anybody and you don't want to learn because you are successful but there's a problem the problem is that the people around you are fixed that we have become successful because in the last 20 years we have worked this way hmm bahut problem hota hai unko samjhana ki abhi parivartan ki zarurat hai we have to make the changes we have to improve we have to go forward we have to do new things you can't rely on the success of yesterday in order to live today or tomorrow hmm that's very difficult because people just get content and they don't want to change yeah. and the moment you don't want to change you are go on the downslide take a company like kodak hmm. the best the exactly. best in the in the world uh, they were the first one to have digital patents in digital technology but they decided no we don't want to change <laughs> we don't want to make any changes whatsoever because we have to protect films and we have to protect mm. this that and the other for whatever good reason and they got wiped out polaroid yeah. did the same so if you don't improve and if you don't change if you don't move to the next level uh, the world will pass you by interesting you know so are you inspired by polaroid or kodak <laughs> by any chance because you know i tell you why uh, so i heard the founder of polaroid saying that we are not a technology company we are a mixture of liberal arts and technology together and that's what you believe in and that's the reason why polaroid is it's not just a camera it's a beautiful looking picture absolutely do you believe in that because your societies look beautiful as well <laughs> <laughs> are you a liberal arts fan <laughs> i'm not a liberal arts fan to be honest with you uh, i'm a very logical person but i have emotion at heart so some things you know like when i saw pavai first everybody said yahan khajan hai but i could dream it and uh, it became what it is and everybody uh, told me that i was wrong and i was mistaken and i should not buy it and i should not do it and it's too far and it's wrong and my architects told me my lawyers told me my people told me but somehow that something inside me told me that no this gut is feel. my gut feel tell me that this is my place and uh, actually it came out of a default hmm. i made 11 buildings in lokanwala complex okay and every time i finished a building i made a nice building considering those days and i went into the building and i looked out the roads were bad no street lights no storm water drains no proper water supply no greens in that area totally nothing hmm. and i was building 11 buildings and uh, mr lokanwala was building 250 buildings and other developers put together were building another 100 building so i formed an association i became the secretary mr lokanwala became the president and mr walavalkar who was the owner originally of the land became the chairman and we i initiated all the roads the street lights the water supply the storm water drains and the sewage line there in order to give facility to all the 300 plus buildings and every time i finished a building i was so unhappy because everything around me was not good so i decided i'll have make out in a place i next time i do anything i'll make in a place where aas paas mein sab kuch mera hi hai the roads are mine the gardens are mine this the uh, the school is mine the hospital is mine the retail is mine the commercial is mine my residential is mine everything is mine and my house is also mine <laughs> so what happened is this was kind of a 
feeling which I got that uh, you know so Pawai was about that. Uh, Thana was not like that. Thana was uh, thought process that I think I thought the future could be on that direction. I wasn't as equally passionate about Thani, and uh, but now of course it's become very successful. So people say, "Arey, yar, unka dimag bhot tej hai." They go, "Yahan bhi wo success kiya, Thana mein bhi bhot success kiya." But I, I, I don't think that was any passion. I just thought that it was a good location in a large project area, which you can't get in the Mumbai city. So, so it worked out. Right. So it worked out well for me, really. <clears throat> okay, I have a question on this because you said you entered data. You were in, like you thought. Let me have sewage, roadways, gardens, everything around. And usually, there's a saying which I've tried to understand a pattern between almost all successful people and multi-millionaires or billionaires, right, in the country. It's they align their businesses with national interest. Okay, so if you look at so whatever the current government or the next ten years of the of the whole country's focus is on, they try to align their businesses with that because the growth is faster than. For example, India is right now. Want, India wants to say that, hey, I want to connect the whole India with roadways. So if you are in road business, there are obsolete amount of opportunities for you because it's just there, right? And you kind of do that. So do you think of this as well? Like, what is the national interest right now? Let me align my opportunities with them, and then I'll grow faster. Do you do that? <laughs> of course, <laughs> but this is even better than that. Okay, my story is better than yeah. that story exactly. which you talk about. Because आप क्या बोल रहे हैं कि सरकार रोड बना देंगे या कुछ करेंगे इंफ्रास्ट्रक्चर और मुझे पता है कि वो कर रहे हैं तो मुझे रोड सेक्टर में मैं जाऊँ एंटर कर लेता हूँ मैं ऐसे सोचने की जरूरत ही नहीं है क्योंकि रोटी कपड़ा मकान सबकी जरूरत है छोटा मकान हो झोपड़ा हो या बड़ा मकान हो या पेंट हाउस हो कुछ भी हो होम इज अ नीड द नीड फॉर होम्स विल नेवर ग्रो द कोडेक फोटोग्राफी कैमरा में बिकम ऑब्सुलट बाय टेक्नोलॉजी बट होम विल नेवर बिकम ऑब्सुलट अ होम इज अ होम इट्स अ नीड so this industry will never die it will change it will improve but you can be rest assured that if you are in the food business if you are in the clothing business or you are in this and you understand the ropes of that business you can never lose out you don't have to worry about the government of course the government policies in terms of uh, uh, interest rates in terms of other things and now the prime uh, pm awas uh, yojana uh, all this giving subsidies for the poorest of poor is of course a thing which we see and we do get, take benefit of the policies which are happening but in the home sector it is important to know what the government is doing and where it's going to do like यहाँ मेट्रो आ रही है hmm. तो यहाँ काम होगा यहाँ क्रॉस हार्बर ब्रिज चल रहा है तो वहाँ पनवेल हमारा प्रोजेक्ट वहाँ पनवेल में है ना तो अभी क्रॉस हार्बर ब्रिज आ रहा है वहाँ रेलवे लाइन जो अभी वीटी से लेके पनवेल तक है वो हमारे प्रोजेक्ट तक जाएगा और इट विल गो अप टू खर्चर सो ऑल दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर अस टू नो इन ऑर्डर टू सी द साइज एंड स्केल ऑफ दोज प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड आइडेंटिफिकेशन ऑफ दैट सो द आंसर इज येस बट नॉट कम्प्लीटली सो इन रियल इस्टेट एंड यू फील दिस बिजनेस विल कीप थ्राइविंग regardless of the Business competition will grow. because this is thriving i don't know okay. that depends on again policies wealth um, of the nation gdp growth of the country if gdp grows homes who demand will shoot up because everybody would like to have a house which is there whether on rent or ownership but you'll want a house so i have to build that so I believe GDP of India will continue to grow, and it's ahead of the world already. But yeah. we will grow to double-digit GDP growth in two years. Do you believe that we'll our GDP will get doubled or two point five x in the next five years? For sure. For sure. For sure. So we'll be around seven trillion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Five trillion, seven trillion. We'll there. There is no difficulty. See, we don't know what are the external circumstances which will happen. Hmm. Just say COVID came. like uh, russia ukraine war has mm. taken place suppose china has some war with korea and some other disturbance takes place then we will have a setback mm. 
but with the kind of leadership we have with mr modi and the kind of things the growth story that we have i have no doubt even 1% that this gdp is going to grow so the india aspiration will continue to grow and business business not people will be more wealthier that is important yeah see wealth of mr ambani or any other person is not important it is the wealth of the nation and the multiplier effect which the people the common people will also benefit to do it whether in terms of employment whether in terms of wealth whether in terms of facilities all that is important for every father watching this and right? what are the three what are the three signs that you see in your kid and you feel like okay ab mera bachcha na ready ho gaya hai i can rely on this person now <laughs> <laughs> never happens <laughs> <laughs> so um, all the kids uh, are going to hate me now <laughs> a, a father will always have that problem and the son will be 100% sure that he can make it without his father yeah so both the things are equally true and equally untrue because the newness of the young generation is so important for growth technology is changing you cannot imagine the amount of technology i'm using now in the last 3 4 years it is completely changed the way i run my company the way the whole thing is done so uh, if i didn't do this change i should hand over to my son yesterday because i'm not adapting to change so the the son is always ready to take over in that sense of the term but he should not forget that the maturity of experience of the father is also important to learn hmm. not to copy log bolte hain ki pita ji ye karte hai na usko copy kar lo wo galat hai never copy anybody i have so many mentors in my life in construction in technology in other thing i never copy them i emulate them i learn from them hmm. and then i adapt it to my own issue if you see the the architecture of these buildings they are a certain character but yeah. they actually my own character because we have modified the architecture to such an extent that worldwide this the the architecture is world international old school of architecture mm. but in reality we have adapted it so much that it's now a hiradandani created architecture yeah. it's very different so you'll never see any building like this in the whole world which is similar to this but it is actually a copy of uh, um, 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 uh, idea taken from there modified and used it in our position so i always look up to my mentors people whom i consider as gurus in every field of activity that you do and i pick up ideas from them i don't hmm. copy them let's say person a tomorrow i go start a housing project okay and i was like ki bhai हीरानंदानी ने टाउनशिप बनाई 350 सौ पचास एकड़ की मैं पाँच सौ एकड़ की बनाऊंगा एंड आई ना तो फाइव हंड्रेड ऑल्सो यू सेट से फाइव फिफ्टी एकड़ की बनाऊंगा एंड आई वो गो बिकर एंड आई गेट द बेस्ट इंजीनियर्स गेट द बेस्ट टीम इन द वर्ल्ड एंड कम अप कम अप विद अ वाइल्ड वेरी गुड कॉन्सेप्ट डू यू थिंक दैट ओनली मनी कैन बीट लथे इफ देर इज वी सी मनी सम जैपनीज इन्वेस्टर पुट इन मनी इन मी एंड इज लाइक यूर योर बिलियन डॉलर्स go absolutely dominate the market do you think i'll be then able to dominate and become better than let's say hiran anani or lodha or anyone if just the money is the factor no i i can make this successful by making a tweak of your model okay you bring the money we identify the project you run the whole thing and you give me a development manager model i run it for you and it's your money it's your thing success is failure is yours and i as a development manager will run your thing and i'll take a fee for it so the same thing which you're saying will not succeed mm. what you're saying will not succeed because you don't have the, the expertise the expertise or the enterprise or the ability to handle all these aspects of it at stage 1 but you tie up with a hiranandani and i will do your i will become your development manager you get the land I will help you with the concept. I will run it for you, and I'll charge a fee. So you. So I, I, I mean, it's the same thing which you have said, 
but mm-hmm. i've only changed one thing and That's made you successful is getting an expert on board getting a person who will run it no, for no, a fee sorry. i'll run it for you but do you think that that can be like i can do the same thing if i get few experts in house let's say no. A, no and a senior no. manager or a senior no. cbo or ceo no. to no. run this you're no. more likely to fail than mm. succeed because you really see good times anybody can manage mm. any business can be run in good times because everything is growing up 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 so you also manage to do it the problem is once in 5 years you business no, goes, down. goes down at yeah. that time you fail mm. because there you need the expertise of a person who understands how to handle the downside of the market अपसाइड में तो हर एक आदमी शाहकार होता है कैपिटल मार्केट में स्टॉक मार्केट में जाओ ना अरे मैंने लास्ट ईयर इतने पैसे डाले हम शाहकार बन गए चले डाउन मार्केट में आके बताइए कि कौन शाहकार है और कौन नहीं <laughs> बहुत थोड़े लोग होंगे जो शाहकार रहेंगे सो द क्वेश्चन इज इन द बिजनेस ऑफ बिजनेस द पर्सन कैन एनी पर्सन कैन मेक मनी यू कैन मेक मनी आई कैन मेक मनी एनी वन कैन मेक मनी investor whoever it is who doesn't have any idea he can pick up and there are enough service elements to do it in the market it's a wave you ride yeah. the wave but no that would be the foolish thing to do but tie up with the person who would be able to actually handle that part of it you have the money you have the expertise and i have the capability of managing your entire thing hmm. you pay me a development fee and i'll do it for you interesting so you know why i ask this question because a lot of people say this that the only thing they they don't have is money right now they'll do everything ye idea mera chal nahi pa raha aise nahi ho pa raha jis paisa nahi hai this is the only generation where money is not in short supply why would you say that It, there was there is there in the good old days money was the real constraint today vc funding is there ipos are there reits are, are there, there angel funding is there everything is available in fact money this is the time where money is the easiest in the last 20 years home loans unbelievable the growth which has taken place of home loans is unbelievable in india is the fastest growing sector in the mm-hmm. world home loans and it will continue to grow in the next couple of years you will see this happen so i don't see that as a money is not a constraint mm-hmm. if money is a, 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 the thing but you know what people want is Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you know that that's that actually, is not going to happen. First thing that you said that you wanted to build an apartment or you wanted to build a township which has zero leakage. Right? And you've been able to do that for last 10 years. 30 years. 30 years. So for last 30 years you've been able to provide apartments with zero leakage. And every year you add up a new thing which makes your apartment better. because you feel that every feature that you add that becomes foundation by the next year right don't you think that adds up to the price of course it does so when that adds up to the price don't you feel that indian consumers are very price sensitive so if you add up and you make it let's say 10% or 15% or 20% more expensive than the average apartment do you feel that you won't be able to sell it because india is a price sensitive country of course you're absolutely right but try and understand there are about 200 buildings in mumbai which are 30 years old which require to be demolished and redeveloped these buildings will last 100 years without leaking it's not expensive it's cheap unless you don't do that and don't believe in quality If you make concrete road like Bombay Pune road was recommended to do in asphalt I was part of that committee which decided to make it in concrete By now in 20 years you would have redone that road 50 times because you know what's the quality of Bombay Pune roads mm. Here only 3 kilometers out of 169 kilometers required repairs which is cheaper the permanent good quality concrete road or is it going to be roads which are things which require potholes which are constantly creating problems for you quality is an essential minimum need you can't afford bad quality in anything in the world you don't have to make and you don't have to put marble you don't have to put that kind of expensive amenities 
but quality product quality concrete how can you waterproofing how can you not do it even for my government buildings which we have made they always compliment me that you have made such strong buildings and all that but i mean that is a basic minimum quality is something which we should never consider expensive quality is cheap not expensive and we have to learn to do. yes amenities are expensive hmm you want a swimming pool you want a uh, you know jacuzzi you want all the other amenities um, automated lights on and off and all those things which you want to do a clubhouse which is expensive okay you don't want that it's okay you can short change that how can you make bad quality building in fact anybody who makes a bad quality building should be hanged <laughs> <laughs> that your perspective is not a perspective it's a need no i agree with you needs to do that and we need to think like that only we are, you know i mean we we have to stop thinking that uh, you can afford to make bad quality roads or bad quality anything i think all the people who are making bad quality stuff and all that should be eliminated from this country because you can't afford to make bad quality anything can you make bad quality food also just because you want to make it cheaper you want people to die because of bad quality food why should they we got bad quality anything that in this country we have to eliminate bad quality completely anybody who makes bad quality thanks to rera at least there are certain restrictions that have already come but even otherwise why should we make bad quality anything i can i can understand that whether it's a pin or a pencil or a pen or clothes or whatever it is i no, think I we have to start thinking that india is quality conscious you know and people should say it's made in india that's why it's good quality hmm that shift has to come has to come and the prime minister's day just go and see parliament house go and see the convention center you will understand what quality is beautiful beautiful buildings you can't even imagine that government has constructed it's so beautiful but that is what is important to know and we have to do it nothing should be made by the corporation which is not the best quality do you feel now it's time that indians will pay for it if you deliver <laughs> Bad good quality is expensive good quality is cheap <laughs> please say that <laughs> 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 bad quality is expensive it will last you 5 days <laughs> your roads will break your tires will get spoiled your travel time will increase so uh, but if you make good roads you will travel faster your roads your cars will be better your motorcycles will be better your cycles will be better you will be safer people will die less on the roads you won't have a problem when it rains sab kuch theek ho sakta hai but the moment you say you want cheap so you want bad roads Huh? <laughs> I'm not willing to even hear such a thing. <laughs> And I'm glad that the prime minister also doesn't hear such things. <laughs> no, it's good. It's good. Even I, Yogi Adityanath doesn't like it. I met him, and he says, "सबसे अच्छा बनना चाहिए." UP में है इसलिए अच्छा बनना चाहिए. वो ऐसे बात करते हैं. That's a good attitude. Yes, have. absolutely. Just hear him. when he talks like that sabse behtareen hum data center bana bana nahi aap jo data center yahan up mein bana rahe hain mere bete ko kaha darshan ko kaha sabse acha hona chahiye aap boliye hamare sarkar se aapko kya chahiye par ye sabse behtareen data center honi chahiye pure desh ko yahan aana chahiye ye dekhne ke liye that is the kind of leadership that you need no compromise on quality no compromise on people give them the best india deserves it our people deserve it we must get it time is now aaj nahi milega to kab milega log jopat patti mein kitne 50 tak mumbai is the richest city in india 50 pratishat log jopat patti mein rehte hain sitar saal se कितने तक ये लोग रहेंगे वहां जब आपके पास पैसे हैं पॉसिबिलिटी है सरकार है ताकत है सब कुछ है क्यों नहीं करते करिए ना 
is there any project or any concept in your head which you feel like one day i wish somebody does it in the country or maybe you want to do it something you feel is not logical but you would want to see it i would love in the next 5 years to remove every slum in mumbai i drafted the scheme for bala saheb thakre i am the signatory on that scheme along with mr afzal purka who was then the chief secretary and we worked out that we should eliminate slums in mumbai and i was part of that uh, committee uh we can do it and uh, we just have to take it off and what would happen to the people who live in slums we'll rehabilitate them it's possible to do is it and so what's, what's the usual problem when this kind of project happens there's no problem uh you need a person passionate enough to just focus on it and just do it uh we made the cross harbor bridge which is only 40 years behind 50 52 years behind the idea concept of across the harbor mm-hmm. we've done it the coastal road was so long back the mm-hmm. metro came in the last 5 years yeah, the, the whole of slums of mumbai can get out in 5 years so do you think that their lives and their livelihood and the st- things that they do nearby we can take care of that. it's done everywhere in the world we so have done provide it in, enough jobs and done, stuff like that we have done in singapore we have done in uh, china we have done in so many countries of the world we have done in central america in so many places uh, there's no there's no reason because land is so valuable in india that uh, if you remove the jhopar patties and use half the land for the rest of it in terms of development and sale it's possible to do so yeah individually private developers who were doing it have proved to be incapable of doing it but i think the government's now should take over and step over take it of course mr adani is doing dharavi so i'm hoping that he will also do that part of it very successful but there are so many more slum besides dharavi and we should eliminate it mm. and if i don't mind be being an... in charge of it yeah that's what i was asking <laughs> I, i would love i would love and to in an it. ideal scenario how i, I mean i wouldn't do it do? myself i yeah. would see that it is done and it's possible to do mm. so under your leadership you can make it possible how yes. quick Yes. How quick if if there's a possibility? 5 years. 5 years and you will eliminate everything you can. And I'll make money out of it for the government. I don't want any penny for myself. Hmm. I'll make 20,000 crores profit. That's amazing like that's yeah. 20,000 crores and that yeah. government can use it to build build infrastructure. Hmm. And services. But the only question was emotions of the people that he stayed. No, you need a person who says, "I will do this." Like Mr. Gadkari says, "I will make 35 kilometers of national highway per day," and he did it. Of course, under the prime minister's blessings, but he did it. There's no problem about it. What's the craziest thing you've bought, or the most expensive thing you've bought for yourself? Just no logic. Just like I wanted to have it. Maybe a house, maybe a, a yacht, or a private jet. Or, I'm going to share a story, hmm. short one. I about eighteen, seventeen, eighteen years. Uh, my office was at Santa Cruz, Saraswati Road. I landed from Delhi. I was director Hatko, and I landed in the morning and got into a taxi uh, because my car had not come or whatever. And I, my office was Saraswati Road, which was hardly two kilometers away. And I got into the taxi and I said Saraswati Road, either. तो द टैक्सी ड्राइवर गेम यू गाली आप मेरे मैं बोला क्या हो गया मैं लाइन में खड़ा था और आप यहाँ थे तो हाउ वाई यू टॉकिंग लाइक दिस सो ही सेड यू नो मैं रात से लाइन में खड़ा हूँ और हम लंबे सफारी के इंतज़ार में करते हैं तो आप यहाँ बैठे आप यहाँ दो किलोमीटर जाएंगे तो मुझे क्या मिलेगा मैं क्या मांग सकता हूँ आपसे सो आई सेड मैं क्या करूँ मैं लाइन में था और आप यहाँ हैं तो मेरे मेरे पास गाड़ी नहीं है तो मैं कैसे करूँ तो बोलते हो छोटे सवारी वाले लोग रिक्शा में जाते हैं तो मैं बोला रिक्शा कहाँ मिलता है तो बोला वो सामने कतार वहाँ है तो आई गॉट डाउन फ्रॉम द टैक्सी आई सेट इन माई रिक्शा एंड आई वेंट टू सरस्वती रोड ऑफिस एंड आई हैड वन हैंड बैग विथ मी एंड आई गॉट डाउन फ्रॉम द कार आई थॉट द वॉचमैन वुड टेक माई बैग 
he wouldn't take my bag so i paid the rickshaw man and i picked the bag and i started walking up the steps to do it he suddenly realized i am niranjan hiradan dai <laughs> because uske dimag mein nahi aata tha ki niranjan hiradan dai koi rickshaw se office ke liye hote so <laughs> and i happily made it and i was very <laughs> happy with it but even the person who is my own watchman didn't recognize me because i got down from the rickshaw and for a for at least maybe 15 30 seconds you know he was quite unaware then he rushed to pick up my bag <laughs> <laughs> so i'm very happy about what you know mm. the myself actually all these things i don't care but i also travel in a bentley and other cars so don't ah. misunderstand that i don't have good things in life that's not true No, no, that's for sure you have yeah, it. I'm sure. like, but there has to be one point in life, no? जहाँ पे कभी तो लगा होगा कि okay, when you wanted to get bigger and bigger, I was like, okay, I want to. This is my. My son moment. bought a helicopter for me. Hmm. He gifted you that. He, he bought. Well, actually, he wanted it for his pipeline, but he he did give it to me, and he said you use it. But I hardly ever used it, and he, the pipeline project is over, so we've sold the helicopter. But you know, I hardly traveled a couple hmm. of times in it. I wasn't even enamored to oh. really travel into it. So I actually, to be honest with you, all these things don't matter to you now. Even then, I don't think that helicopter Never. was ten years ago. So I mean, didn't really bother. That's that's refreshing to hear. Yeah, that is. I, I mean, maybe maybe my needs are less. My wife's needs are even lesser than mine. So really, to be honest with you, very very content uh, couple. How do you invest your money? That's a very interesting question. At the level where you are, the stakes are super high. So give me a percentage. I'm not okay. Don't tell me exactly number of what you do, but think of let's say if you have hundred rupees, where would you put like fifty, twenty, thirty? How would you do that? Seventy-five, eighty percent of my money is in the business of business. Okay. So, so it all thing. goes circle within that business, whether in the new businesses, whether in the old businesses, all that. Your is individual. Money the business well. is individual money goes into the business of businesses. So I don't have much of the separate monies and all that. Ten percent of money is kept in liquidity, which is there because uh, when markets go down, you need uh, funds for yourself or whatever it is and all. You do it, and another ten percent is kept within the system of the real estate, which is not actually required for immediate funding, but. the markets change you need this thing new opportunities come by way so about 10% is there but 80% which is the major part of your funding all goes into the business of business and there's growth all the time taking place so we grow by leaps and bounds because we put in back into the business so you don't you don't invest in let's say stocks no maybe quarter of 1% of my wealth right. maybe 1% Real estate gives better returns than stocks. No, it's my passion. I mean, if uh, TCS price goes up or Reliance goes up and all that, I will look at it and I'll say I made more money. It's better to have less money, but on your own money. Uh, not giving me a thrill about it. I I've never looked at stocks and shares value. Incidentally, I've never valued myself. That's interesting. Why? Never. You have never gotten your valuation done. No. The market keeps valuing me, but uh, I have never done it. <laughs> <laughs> was the craziest rumor? <laughs> was the craziest rumor you've heard about yourself? That I'm worth twenty thousand crores. <laughs> That may be reality, no? Why? Rumor? I don't know. Some, no, but somebody else told me I'm thirty-two thousand. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so I really don't know whether this is correct or that is correct or basis okay. of the valuation. Or no, what's funny? Like, do you feel that oh, this is too little? That's why it's funny, or you're like, oh, they have no idea what's going on. I keep on finding out how did they value it. <laughs> <laughs> but you know the question is not that the question is i am the same hmm. my business is the same and uh, today i'm valued at x tomorrow i'm valued at 2x and tomorrow i'm valued at half an x how does it make a difference to me hmm. in the last 15 years of my life uh, i my my expenses have not gone up uh, they may have gone up because of inflation but i haven't really mm. got anything which are more expensive or personal use which is more expensive i think maybe 5 years ago i spent more money on myself than i do today for example so it's not a question of that 
and it doesn't really make a difference to me because I'm wealthier that I will spend more. I'm not going to buy a yacht or plane or helicopter, whatever it is. But uh, the the point is, if you're not going to do all that, then all this is meaningless. If you just looking at a number mm. that I want to be bigger than that builder or I want to be bigger than this industrialist, not I don't think it has meaning to me. Or yeah. maybe to be honest, let me be fair. Maybe it's lost meaning twenty years ago. Uh, Used to be that right now. Maybe yeah. at that time I would be very excited if somebody told me that you're worth X Y Z five thousand crores. Wow! <laughs> 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 and I'd like everybody to know also. <laughs> Just uh, like, it, you know, I, it I, neither I, has any mean to me nor to uh, if anybody expresses it. Also, I just uh, you know. Yes. But were you ever excited? There's a there's a term in in US in Silicon Valley. They call it three comma club. No, what's the that? The three comma club. What's that? The three comma club means you have made it to billion dollars. Okay. Right, and people get excited about it. That hey, after my tech company exit, I've got into a three comma club now, and it's a feeling that only zero point zero one percent people in the world can ever say <laughs> or feel like that. So, were you ever excited at any point? The of only like, time I remember the billion dollar transaction was what I sold uh, commercial properties to Brookfield about hmm. six years ago or hmm. seven years ago. And it, you know, splashed over it, and I said, "Wow, billion dollars!" You know, <laughs> check which came in. So, I mean, I was pretty excited about it. I think I was excited at that time, uh, but it doesn't last long. Mm. It's just a mm, few minutes. Okay, do you go to around the world and you look at the best properties and you get you get inspired? Which one was a favorite property in the world? Which was like, damn, this project is really good. I wish we had something. You like know, this. one of the earliest ones I really liked was Singapore. Okay. And uh, what in Singapore? I, again, maybe thirty years ago, I went to Singapore, hmm. and one thing they showed me was a new township. Okay. And you know what they did? They first had the road. They had the railroad metro connecting to that new place. They had. Uh, an mm, essential work to be done a police station a proposed hospital to come up immediately before the first buildings in that township would happen and that's how i really thought of the township in pawai so one of my earlier days when i came to pawai and i come from singapore i realized that you know you had to create a good infrastructure if you want to do a township While in India we first make a township and then we create the infrastructure. infrastructure yeah. Then we bring the metro. Then we bring the road. Then you bring everything else. While Singapore was one of those things. I've been to townships in uh, China, China. Fantastic, unbelievable. But the size and scale was so enormous that really difficult to emulate. But fantastically large townships and all that. But you know, then there it is totalitarian regime. Hmm. So when they want to clean up Shanghai, they don't have to wait for forty years, fifty years to do it. They don't need anybody else to come and call for tenders seven times to do a dharavi hmm. or clear the slums and all that. They just clear it. So I think there's no equivalent as far as China is concerned. But I think China has also done it. Dubai has done a huge amount of infrastructure yeah. in development. And I look up to that. So always seen infrastructure, always seen uh, uh, developments, buildings, uh, things like that. I, I, I still do that. You do that. Do you, have you heard about this project that Saudi Arabia is building, the vertical, right? You do you know more about it? Like no, I don't know the details. I think I probably seen the same video, video you have. Have. And uh, but it's fantastic. I mean, you know, new things, new ideas, new concepts, and new things are things which we really need in the country. I saw the uh, Bharat Mandapam uh, in Delhi, the new uh, convention center, mm. which was inaugurated by the Prime Minister last week. What a place! Out of the world. Yeah, just. Beautiful. I saw Parliament House also two months before. What a building! I mean, it's really beautiful. So we can make beautiful things, and now, and uh, which were probably not being done so much before. Thirty-five uh, kilometers of national highway per day that we make. Uh, we are going to make three hundred and thirty kilometers of metro in Mumbai in the next two years. 
uh, in 70 years, we had 190 kil kilometers of uh, suburban rail, Western Railway, Central Railway and Harbour Line. And now we are going to add next two years, 330 kilometers of metro. So I think, you know, we're doing a great, impressive, Work. forward looking and you know, infrastructure is going to be very important for the country. The fun question ending is, sir. What's the price of this apartment? <laughs> <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. <laughs> what do you think? This kind of apartment in Mumbai, how much would you get it for? I really don't know, to be honest with you. I, if, never, I told you I don't never, value myself. If you had to think. It would be upward of 50 crores, but I really don't know the figure. Uh, okay. If you go to buy it, it would cost you maybe twice as much, but... That's somewhere around it. No it's my home and house, so it's, yeah. it's part of the thing. And, and uh, it's part of your township. So. It's part of my township too. And uh, so it's really not... No clue. Way. Actually, I never thought of it. <laughs> <laughs> now we do this. We start a new, Let's start a new rumor today. What do you think is the price of this apartment? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe I'll get a better offer. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's do the listing. Have you seen those, the, seen those reels where people are like, Shandar Balkany, ye dekhi. have you seen those? Yeah, we do it sometimes. <laughs> you, you do it? <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's it. Interesting. Thank you so much for Thank being you. here. Thank you so much for... Thank you giving us little anecdotes, gyan stories and perspective. And I hope that you enjoyed. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching this episode till the end. Please let us know in the comments if you like this guest and you want us to do more of these kind of guests or no, so that we can serve you better and come up with better content which helps you achieve your Indian dream. Before you leave the episode, like, subscribe, comment and share it at least with one person who has conversation se ideas mile or wo ideas pe implement kare because one idea is enough to turn around your life, your people's life, your family's life and your country's progression as well. Until the next episode, keep figuring it out.